Now, today's top stories in Power of 5 weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Hi, everybody. Let's take a look at today's top stories. All of them were willing to come forward. All of them were willing to make a sacrifice for the rest of us uh, so that we could enjoy the freedom uh, that we enjoy uh, today. Today's a day to honor and thank all of those who have served our country. And on this Veterans Day, Governor Mike DeWine took time to pay tribute to the Navy corpsman from Ohio who was one of the 13 U.S. service members killed in the bombing at the Kabul airport during evacuations in Afghanistan. Maxton Soviak, a 2017 graduate of Edison High School. Today there was an assembly in his honor. A passenger rail advocacy group is calling on the governor to push for Ohio's share of the new Amtrak funding available included in the new infrastructure bill. It's all in hopes of reviving plan plans for train service between Cleveland, Columbus, and Cincinnati. $66 billion in rail funding is included in the $1.2 trillion infrastructure bill passed last week by Congress. That funding includes money to expand Amtrak's national network into areas underserved by passenger rail service. That includes Ohio. Let's talk Ohio weather now because uh, it's uh, it, it's out there. Yeah, it is. Rain likely should end between midnight, 2 a.m. in most spots. Then we're going to clear you out. So tomorrow morning we'll start you near 40 with some sunshine. And here you are. So 40s for the morning commute, 50s by one. And we're staying in the 50s during the day, lower and middle, pretty close to where we should be. Evening rain, round number two, and that's the Arctic air. So 42 Saturday, snow on Sunday with 39 for the high. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.